I jumped him and I run back in the building because I said he was going to shoot. Tonight at 11 o'clock, an 80-year-old man trying to help a stranger is nearly robbed. Surveillance cameras captured a very scary encounter as it all unfolded right outside of an Indianapolis business. But tonight, our Emily Longnecker shows us how a surprising hero changed the criminal's plan in a matter of seconds. Andrea, the video you're about to see was taken right outside the door here of this near east side auto body shop. The nearly 81-year-old victim we spoke with is still shaken after believing he was about to be shot for $3 in his pocket. It's hard to talk about. He doesn't want you to see his face or know his name, but he wants you to know he's worked hard his whole life for every dollar he ever earned, even helping to build Lucas Oil Stadium. Still, as hard as he's worked to earn a living, this man didn't try to fight back when he realized the man you see wearing a hooded sweatshirt in this video was robbing him at gunpoint. That's the victim with a cane coming out of Williamson Body and Paint Shop on East 26th Street Wednesday afternoon. He's about to head to a nearby truck where his older brother is waiting on him. We ride together. So he said, you go and see about the car. I'm going to say that way doing. When he came outside, though, he saw a young man who he says asked for directions to a mechanic shop. You can see the older man pointing with his cane down the street. Moments later, the man in the sweatshirt turns around. Yeah, he had a gun on him. He had a gun. So this is a stick-up, this is a stick-up. I said, man, they ain't got no money. He says, Rob, give me a beer for us. I ain't got no money. And I had $3. I gave him the $3. And then I started hollering. And there's the victim's 86-year-old brother you see running into the picture. He didn't come empty-handed, though. He brought a wrench. My brother come in and put that wrench upside his head. That was a whole lot way. <laughs> it was a whole lot way. <laughs> you can see the suspect reel back in surprise and then chase the 86-year-old around a car before taking off. He didn't want that wrench no more, yes. <laughs> As he was running away, he dropped the victim's money. He messed with the wrong brothers, huh? That's right. You know what? That $3 wasn't going to do him no good. Right. But that wrench did his head some good. And so far, there haven't been any arrests. The victim says he is thankful his brother was there. He says they've always been close and taking care of each other, and this was certainly one of those times. Andrea?